Yo, what's up, everybody? Lightwater here. So, I know it's been forever, and I've basically been producing any content because I'm not really playing the game that much, just raid logging. But I got linked this COH manifesto, and I just keep laughing so much, I figured I might as well just make a video, and maybe some of you guys will laugh your ass off with me. I have no idea what it's technically about, but I think I have the gist of it, just with the, the introduction. And I can't wait, because this shit is so funny. So, strap it. If you guys are a holy priest, maybe you guys can find this hilarious. If not, you know, maybe you can get the jokes. But I was hoping that this was a rant about why CH was bad. And maybe, you know, because I imagine, I feel like there's a lot of priests that really think it's good. It's not. It's trash. It's trash spell. And... Anyways, I think it should only be used, you know, out of, like, sheer HBS while moving. Like, oh my god, the raid's dying. I can't push anything, so I have to do the mechanics button. And only because you have extra mana left over. Hopefully. There's, like, so many f things where, like, you just, you don't really want to push it. But anyways, let's, let's get at this. Introduction. Before I start, I would just like to let you guys know. I just like how this is written too. I'd like to let you know that I I did not want to do this. Oh, how noble of the reader, of the writer. I did not want to have to explain my actions. <laughs> you forced me to do this. <laughs> Dog, it's 2021. People were so serious about WoW. Still, I love it. I did not want to put any energy or effort into an online argument <laughs> because that's what you've made it. <laughs> You can can <laughs> I can tell the person already on, on just from those few lines what they're like, but that's clearly what you've wanted. Since even after an apology and saying that I agree with your points, to end the conversation then and there, you still continue to rant in the channel and continue to DM both Cabbage and I, despite neither of us pushing on it. I cannot even begin to fathom what godforsaken reason you had to keep bringing it up. But if you want an argument, I'll give it to you. <laughs> that, now, if that is not an opening statement, I don't know what is. I, I feel like, you know, so far you don't really know what's going on. And you've been thinking like, wow, this sounds serious. What's this about? This must be really, really important. Well, then it goes on. Basics of Circle of Healing. First and foremost, COH or Circle of Healing. <laughs> Fucking noobs. Didn't even know that. I would certainly hope that you at least understand the concept that COH is mana efficient by now. Ooh, that sentence alone. Doesn't that rustle you guys' jimmies? Holy shit. The language, I would certainly hope that you at least understand the concept that COH is mana efficient by now. <laughs> Scrub. But let me break it down to you. <laughs> Let me break it down for you both in even simpler terms and by the numbers. Okay, I can't wait. COH is a spell that heals for a lot. Incorrect. <clears throat> Has a fairly low cooldown. Incorrect. And mana cost is very low. Incorrect. Sorry, I, I, it's going to take me a while to get through this. So I'm just going to read it plain. <clears throat> it is an instant heal and an instant cast. Isn't that the same thing? I mean, I guess not. Okay, I guess it's not technically because you can have instant cast and instant heals. I just think it's okay, whatever. And most importantly, it's a smart heal, meaning that it will always seek out the lowest health members to heal. I feel like I should read it how it's gram gram uh, grammat grammatically written rather than writing it how I, I think they intend it to be. But whatever. Um, this is important for later. Now then, on to the specifics. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll bring that up again later. <laughs> Maybe that's in page 9 of the dossier. <laughs> there are a few things. Wait, isn't COH a 30 yard range? Or am I tripping? Am I thinking of different expansions? Probably TBC, huh? Yeah, maybe TPC. Anyways, there are a few things I want you to look at closely here. Here, closely here, and up first is the mana cost. That was kind of weird. As you can see, it's 3.3% of base mana. Simple enough, right? <laughs> you can just sense the salt. Lower percentage equals higher mana efficiency, question mark. I don't know, does it? <laughs> you tell me. 
Let me break it down just in case you don't understand. Oh, thank God. I have about 50,000 meta. Don't you like this? I have about 50,000 mana. No, no, no. You have 50,000 mana. All six healing specs all have 50,000 mana. <laughs> and I regenerate 2,000 mana every five seconds. <laughs> this is so fucking amazing. Who wrote this? That means after I cast COH, it takes only four to five seconds to regenerate the lost mana. That's a... That's a four to five seconds. You, you, you know decimals? We're just going to leave. There's a whole lot of distance between four and five. You know? <laughs> I mean, you can't bust it down for us. How much How much mana is that? Why don't you tell us? You don't know? You know, it's 1650? Okay. It's all right. You know? Actually, uh, dog, I'm going to help you out here, okay? All right, look, 1650. <laughs> okay, hang on here. So we got 2,000 mana for five. That's 400 mana per second. So we divide this by four, 400. And it takes 4.125 seconds to get you your mana back for that spell. See, if you'd written like this, you could already be taken a little bit more seriously, but... Uh, that's advanced, I understand. The, the, you're already up to nine pages. Can't make this longer. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> next up, 15 second cooldown. It's low. I, I don't know what world you consider a low cooldown, but 15 seconds in a mythic raid is practically next year. Uh, I don't know how else to explain that. <laughs> I can tell. One last thing to pay attention to is the fact that it heals a total of five allies for 105% spell power. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just like how he's writing this. Wow, holy shit, 105%? Oh my god. Now these numbers may mean nothing to you, so what? <laughs> you fucking idiot. Let me compare it to another spell. I'll use one of your spells for ease of understanding. Oh, one of your spells. Oh, he's fighting with the rest of Druid. Okay. Wild Growth Comparison. I choose Wild... Well, oh, WG or Wild Growth. Don't you like how... He, it Doesn't it seem like the fact that he knows the abbreviation for Wild Growth is like... Um, he's bragging, right? Like, all, like almost as if that's like something like, oh, I know. I know that. <laughs> I don't know. For a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's very similar to CH in that it heals multiple people and is a short cooldown. Well, I mean it it's you know, it's significantly shorter. It's it's only ten seconds. You could fit in a lot more wild growth than switch, but whatever. Secondly, much like COH, it is an important and integral spell to your class and spec. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just let that. One. I'll, we'll give him a freebie. We'll let that one slide. Certainly not a spell that I would ever ask you to stop using. Oh, buddy, I did. I like. Well, we're not even two pages in. So, what are the differences between these two spells, and why are they important? Then? <laughs> Wild growth heals six allies and has a 10 second cooldown while CUH heals five injured allies and has a 15 second cooldown. I already know where he's going. I'm going to guess. I'm not reading ahead. I'm going to guess that he thinks wild growth doesn't target injured allies primarily. And wild growth actually has multiple things where it, where it intentionally tries to target injured allies and tries to target people with dots. It's actually one of the smartest heals in the game. Um, but let's let's see if he makes that if he's gonna try to make the point that CH is smarter. This is arguably the one advantage wild growth has over CH. Oh wait, hang on. Maybe wild growth's mana cost is 22%, <laughs> which is higher than 3.3%. Does he not realize that this hasn't been divided by five yet to a cost for the 400% increased mana pool? <laughs> okay. Even though 22% is very expensive, it's still considered to be very mana efficient, at least by Icy Veins. Oh my god, we're, we're listening to Icy Veins. Okay. 
this is this has to be a meme. Like this has to be fake, right? There's no way this is real. I know this is real. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. Not only that, but COH once again is an instant cast and heal. This means that it will heal and ensure the safety of an ally much faster than wall growth. <laughs> Don't you like the language? <laughs> ensure the safety. I'm really looking out for your well-being. This is a good thing. Dude, anybody that has to say this in any argument is terrifying. By declaring something good. Like, not only that it's a good thing, this is a good thing. As if as if to argue against it, you are innately evil. <laughs> this is a good thing. Lastly, while growth heals for 98%, while CH is 105%, meaning that it heals the target for, for more health. Oh, you sweet summer child. If if you really thought that's all that went into it. <laughs> you poor sweet thing. He doesn't eat. You know what? You know what this guy doesn't even know about? I want to break his world wide open. He doesn't even know about the secret healer coefficient like changes the the secret healing aura that all the classes have. Cuz I can I'm almost sure that um rest of druids is higher than than fucking holy priest but that's a whole nother matter he doesn't even understand how like the mastery will play into this the conduits the talents the anything the everything Ooh, it just uh, he, he oh he does you know he actually just missed well let, let's see if he gets there but he doesn't even realize that wild growth will scale with haste while ch scales zero with haste right so wild growth will actually do more healing just based off like average haste levels alone but <laughs> Again, I think this is an heroic raider, so I don't want to read too much into this. Poor guy. But, yeah. Um, all this to say... I mean, I guess I'm just being as arrogant as him. Oh, God. Anyways. All this to say CUH is an exceptional spell that is immensely helpful. I, I, well, all this... What's... Okay. It's an exceptional spell that is immensely helpful to the raid, and I will not stop using it to fit your needs. <laughs> trouble in paradise <laughs> reviewing the logs but numbers and words do nothing in practicality so let's review some logs to see it in action shall we oh shit here we go the links will be at the bottom but for now i'll show you pictures to make it easier for you <laughs> you fucking you fucking dumb resto dude you fucking retard you idiot here's some fucking pictures for your picture book because we know you can't read all right what have we got here Nice. Zero context. I like it. Some arbitrary, just his echo of light with, okay, a yeah, circle of healing. Wow. I love that this is pitted against, wait, wait, wait. Even in the evidence shown here, wait, even in the evidence shown here, he doesn't even realize that he's, he's proven himself wrong. Look at this wild growth. Tri tri practically tripling the healing of this circle of healing and he doesn't realize that this number this mana cost here has to be divided by five right he doesn't even realize that the the real cost of this spell is is like is like four percent just barely higher than cuh yet it's doing almost triple the healing and you have to imagine these are really bad players right so a better player the rest of druid's wall growth will always scale higher and higher and higher because he's going to combo with other hots and he's going to build the right stats Whereas CH can't really go up. It's very linear scaling, right? Again, doesn't scale with haste. Doesn't scale with a lot of things, right? Uh, this is so funny. Also, the wild growth is only going to ever get stronger too because of the mastery. And whereas the mastery is going to get shown as Echo of Light. I just can't. This is hilarious. Okay. But this man's going to divide it by 22%. You just know it. Okay. Um, here we go. These are from the fourth wipe of Heroic Sire. There we go, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not the fourth wipe. I picked these because this was the best. <laughs> this, was <laughs> this was the best attempt of the night for the, for the raid as a whole with Sire at only 5%. God damn piece of shit. Rest of Druid. You're the reason we're not killing him. No, it's you and your goddamn circle of healing. <laughs> there are, are two sets of numbers you need to look at. 
Oh, is there? Most importantly, the amount healed. As you can see, COH and wild growth. Oh, the amount of healing. Okay, so we don't want to look at the average per cast. We want to look at the total. Okay, so let's see. Uh, you pushed circle of healing three times more than him. And what was the amount? Oh, wow. Look at that. Tur guys. Oh my god, I think Circle of Healing is worth pressing. Look, he pushed it 33 times despite wall growth having a shorter cooldown. <coughs> and look at that, it did more healing. I'm, case solved. I, I'm, I'm honest, I'm sold. CUH, new BIS AOE healing spell. Do you guys, you guys know it was a smart heal? It's crazy. Um, okay. <laughs> As you can see, COH and Wild Growth was our second most high healing source, respectively. I would love to be in this guild. COH healed for 419k health, while Wild Growth healed for 391k. So what does this mean? <laughs> it would be it would be more beneficial to the raid if you stopped casting Wild Growth rather than I stop casting COH. Can we get a fucking round of applause? This is absolutely amazing. I am so glad I clicked on this. This also means that what you are asking me to do is completely cut the fifth best healing source of the entire raid. I wish I, I could think this simplistically. Dude, if I could remove the knowledge I have and and I could I could think like this, it would make me sleep at night so much better. God, if life was this simple. He, he has no clue how many numbers in my head get factored in before a sentence like this gets produced. Oh, man. I don't even want to break this down. That's so nuts. If you believe that you are going to be able to make up the slack, then you are sorely mistaken. Because it's the whole raid that will suffer for it. <laughs> Do you think a woman wrote this? I... This is so funny. It just sounds so like... I just don't know... I don't know any guy that talks like this. It's the whole raid that will suffer for it. I gotta know, dude. I don't know. It's like someone's really dramatic. Or it just has to be a girl healer. I don't know. The controlled variables. I don't know, but then there's all this like weird... Like, schooly language college it must be a college educated person which is why they're retarded hey you know speaking as someone who went to one year of college and failed let's assume then that the reason why you're healing so much less is because of me and that i'm heal sniping oh yes Yes, here we go. Let's get into it. Which is a ridiculous notion because your only kill on Sire previously, you had parsed only 9%. Whereas you were parsing 26% on the attempt, which is still bad. But I digress. Holy shit, the claws. Oh my god. By changing some factors, I can make it to where I'm the controlled variable or a constant variable that does not change. What? What, are, what is this language? Can someone explain to me what this means? What variables would I change, keep, and how would I do so? Optimally, there are several criteria I want. Dog, yo, give this man an award. He's writing a fucking paper over here. Relatively same raid size, relatively same damage taken, and the exact same healing composition. So you change nothing? Okay, great. But most importantly, different players with me being the only... <laughs> this has to be a joke, right? Sorry, my, my headset just randomly turned off. This has to be a joke. I could never fathom making a statement like this. This is nuts. Well, that sounds pretty difficult to do, does it not? Fortunately for us, I'll, I have logs for just that. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, did he run with a different group? Dude, what is this? Serene? Alright, we know our player, guys. Serene. Oh, the 93% parse. Whoa, my man. 7,000 healing. Holy shit, this guy means business. My god. What boss was this on? It's kind of really edited here. Okay. 
Once again, I'll have the links below. But as we can see, it fits every single criteria, leaving myself and the healer composition as the controlled variable. <laughs> Enough with the preamble, though. <laughs> Why am I doing all of this? <laughs> Why indeed? Oh my god, this is amazing. I would love to heal against this guy. And absolutely dumpster him, even though I have like... I Dude, get me into a mythic sludge fist kill. And underpower the healing core and make all of the DPS really, really good. So that way, they can't die because they're bad. And the only thing I, we have is just an all-you-can-eat buffet of healing. If I don't double the kid, I'd be tragically sad. <laughs> uh, and I want him to hit and COH on cooldown, baby. <laughs> Please, hit it on cooldown. Because I can't win if he doesn't. I, I, need, I need him to hit down on cooldown because I need all that mana to go away and do no healing. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god, it continues. It, this is just too good. The independent variable. An independent variable is a variable that is... Ch he did... He knows... He knows... Man, he, these motherfuckers... These motherfuckers reading this shit. They're so stupid. They're so stupid. They don't even know what an independent variable is. That's why I'm going to put the definition here. <laughs> an independent variable is a variable that is changed and causes a change. Or the dependent variable... Okay, I feel like those are two different things, but in the case, the independent variable is the player, while the dependent variable is the healing output. <laughs> you and Elena are the independents, while your 2.4 million healing amount and 26% bars, and Elena's 2.9 million amount and 83% and bars are the dependents. <laughs> Meanwhile, although my healing amount is lower, my playstyle and spells remain largely the same along with my 93 and 94% parse. What? What is this guy even saying? Wait, so you did less healing. So you did less healing. Is that, I mean, is that what I'm hearing? I mean, I'm, I'm hearing you did less healing, my friend. Comparatively, casting castings of COH, you can see that I casted it only 16% less during the kill versus the attempt. This is likely due to largely to a much shorter fight time 741 versus 923 you can you know you can organize it by cast per minute my friend but i digress <laughs> this is too good another reason is likely due to a much better restoration druid player oh just really twisting it this poor this poor resto druid player my overall healing amount is also lower likely due to a much better restoration druid oh damn i thought i had a stroke but it's like the same sentence again what does this mean this means that although i did not change my playstyle to accommodate the other healers both the druid and i excelled likely due to a much better restoration <laughs> in my lane oh here it goes <laughs> your main argument appears to be when raid healing you have to accept assess okay assess what the other healers are bringing and decide if you should modify your tactics to best improve the raid survival dude is that a curse sentence what do they just read when raid healing you have to assess the other healers uh no not really actually so so you have to assess the other healers if based off cooldowns but as far as the day-to-day -day healing is concerned no there's not really much you have to change ever um and and if your class doesn't actually like can't actually change then it, it's not even more like really worth it right um and honestly in any case right it's there's almost there's very few classes that can like really change their healing to fit the comp Resto Druid is actually one of them. Holy Priest is not, though. I realize I'm arguing for this guy. Um, but, but yeah. I mean, I have to... I mean, I have to make the point. Even if I completely disagree with everything this person said so far. I disagree with this, if this is what the other person is saying. Um, 
yeah, I mean, obviously you want to fill in the cracks, but there's so few that you can actually do with the tools that Blizzard gives us sometimes. And accused that I need to read the room. <laughs> And they, holy priest, just need to be in the empty lane relative to where other healers can travel. <laughs> to which I argue, what are you on? Okay, I'm with you so far on this part, buddy. But not the COH shit, dog. You're trash if you're casting COH. This is obviously where it becomes less based in the fact and becomes more opinionated. Yes, I agree that each healer has their strengths and weaknesses. However, this is not Wrath of the Lich King, where healers were suited for a single role. Holy Paladins being exclusive tank healers. Okay, yeah, 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 I agree with you so far. In the current state of the game, all six healers are relatively balanced and are not restricted to only one job with the exception of healers uh, I'm gonna be honest this priest are pretty specified my friends um, and same with holy power like there's a lot of specified roles you just probably don't realize it like there's some classes that simply can't single target heal um, I mean whatever um, for the most part this is true but not really with the exception of healer cooldowns, healing assignments are largely a thing of the past. That's fair. If multi, yeah, with, I mean, you like watch some groups sometimes, and or certain healers cover certain dots. But yeah, if multiple allies become injured, then we'll cast an AOE heal. If <laughs> all right, <I'll>, no, <laughs> you, <laughs> you cast AOE heals if it's efficient, regardless of whether or not there's like multiple people injured or not. It's you, actually, there's so few times you ever have the decision of whether or not, like, what you want to push as a healer, because Blizzard almost didn't leave it up to a decision. Like, sometimes you cast a spell off cooldown, no, no matter the situation. Like, literally, if it's you, if you have a holy word up, you basically just slam it, regardless of the situation. Same with, like, a lot of spells. Like, that's not necessarily true. Like, li like a Paladin with Light of Dawn, or, you know... There's a lot of spells you just slam it. You just throw a palm every single time on cooldown, regardless of the situation, but whatever. Uh, if a single ally takes large damage, then we'll cast a single target heal. Okay. Obviously, there are a lot more factors, but the fact of the matter is that people need healing, then it's a healer's job to heal them. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I <don't>, I <laughs> okay. Yes, if there's a Restoration Druid doing a good job healing, then I will cast less CH. Why? Uh, why? It's a smart heal, as you said. If it's, I mean, it sounds like it's the greatest thing that ever fucking existed. Why cast less? If they aren't as good, then I will cast more CH to cover the slack. This is what happens in the lungs. So... Okay... What I will never do is completely stop casting COH as it is very effective at healing and keeping the raid alive, as we've learned. Yeah, I mean, this, the evidence you've presented us today is, I mean, it's, it's it's irresputable, really. You know, fascinating. I mean, the sheer do, you know, amount of numbers and effort you went to, the theorycrafting, really, the, the, the mathematical display at work, I'm, I'm sold. Improving. <laughs> Now, this, this chapter is called Improving. You do well to take note. I've said a bit, so I'll try to keep this section short. Oh, thank God we're, we're getting to nine pages. Uh, you, as a proactive healer... Proactive. Are they proactive? I mean, I guess... I, I, I mean... I mean, I guess they're not a passive healer. Should be ramping and setting up hots for incoming damage. That is incorrect. That is only if you're the flourish playstyle. And that's only one of like the ten different playstyles a Resto Druid can play. In my opinion, the best Resto Druid playstyle is um, as a spot healer. With uh, high amounts of haste, mastery, and going around to each person who's injured and going Regi of Regrowth, taking advantage of the three hots. But uh, you know, in a, in a bunch of stacks and whatnot, and or or there's the play stock because wild growth got buffed, where you're just buffing wild growth, casting wild growth off cooldown. But almost what you're not doing is you're not putting out hots before damage comes out. It, that's like never a good play as a restaurant, actually. It sounds stupid, but it's like it never works out well. <laughs> I mean, unless you like you know for sure like unless the targets you're putting the hots up are, are injured and you know there's going to be damage coming out then it's worth right but it's like it's like so rare that that 
the hots actually matter because the hots in like the highest level play the hots are only used as a buff because you're a mastery like I don't know whatever I have no time to teach the fucking what, is, yeah this video is not going to be long enough anyways <clears throat> if my CH is sniping your heals then it simply means you are not doing a good enough job anticipating incoming damage dog who even knows when a COH goes off? Can we talk about that for a second? I swear to God, get in a raid and push COH, and you then, assuming you don't have your mastery showing on the health bars, I want you to point out to who got healed. And with with three other healers, decent healers, in a difficult raid, I try. Fucking freeze frame it. You tell me. Who, who your COH healed? I bet you can't figure it out. I bet you accidentally pointed to two four chain heal targets because I'll tell you what I push to H and I'm, I'm like looking around where'd it go who got healed I didn't see the health bars go up did you <laughs> like the fuck CH doesn't do any healing <laughs> and it does such dirty sloppy healing that everybody else already does uh, anyways if my CH is sniping your heals and it simply means you're not doing enough job anticipating incoming damage <laughs> By far the easiest and most by far the most easiest the easiest and most effective way to improve, however, is to just cast wild growth more often. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> you had less than half the castings of wild growth when compared to Elena, which translated to two hundred and eighty six K less healing. Much like COH, you should be using it practically on cooldown, as long as raid damage is being taken. Finally, your tranquility timings can be better as you did not cast tranquility at all phase one and on the heroism heroism which oh god alliance players oh oh no that you did fucking alliance players dude no wonder oh my god wait shit they're about to kill heroic sire dude they're like one of the best fucking raiding guilds for alliance holy shit wait they're about to get in the mythic oh my god we I want to watch these guys um yeah okay compared both cast with elena both her casts heal for almost double your cast wow sad i realized that she's a higher item level <laughs> but there's still a lot to be learned from looking at just her logs idiot tldr in conclusion coh is good and i will not stop using it healing the raid is almost never a bad thing and finally get good <laughs> bitch <laughs> oh my god oh the logs are pictures they're not even oh man uh wait no no it, it took us to a real log no okay good is this our man? Should we should we assassinate him? Wait, his COH is like all the way down to the floor. This is like when he did actual good healing. Let's see. Dog, it's almost an eight minute fight and he only had 28 uses of COH. What is that? Uh, 280, 43, 20, 420 seconds worth. Uh, maybe he did actually push an uncle down, let's see. Seven minutes straight of cooldowning. Yeah, he pretty much hits his button on cooldown. Dog, if you hit a button on cooldown for the entire fight and it only does this much healing, that ain't it, Chief. Okay, let's talk about this, okay? 28 cast of COH, okay? 28. So, you used 92.4% of a mana pool. Now, in a seven minute fight, you're only going to get about four of these mana pools. So you used, I mean, maybe it's like 4.2, 4.3. But anyways, you used basically a fourth of your mana to only do under 10% of your healing. Now, of course, some of this is going to be Echo of Light and yada yada. Oh, God, look. Oh, 41 flash heals cast. Oh, my God. Look, hey, dog. Can we talk about that? Yucky poo poo. Dude, look. Uh, I. Look at this healing. Almost the same number of casts, double the amount healing. And he spent 2.4% per 
per cast rather than 3.6. Dog, we want to talk about like efficiency. Look at your flash shields. All right, I'm gonna rip you a new one. Let's check it out, buddy. Okay. What legendary are you running? Cool, you're running flash concentration. So we really, really, really never want to see you cast CUH really at all. Like the like the person said, honestly. Um. Wow, you even have. Wait, your gear is arguably better than mine. This is what, oh my god, this is hilarious. Okay, breakdown, I guess. This, you don't want this much haste, obviously. Translate, turn this haste into mastery, and his gear is better than mine. I literally just haven't played at all to try to get good gear. This is so funny. That, and, and this is like his, this is the one where he's showing off, right? What's your, what's your overall, like, 10k? Really slinging that big dick let's see raw 9.5 wow impressive i want to look you up buddy um is it a storm rage or a light bringer well it's a healer uh highest of two let's do heroic healing is this our person? I think this is our person, right? So this is somebody who's never done mythic rating. Do not release Lightbringer. Are we able to look at their guild? I don't know, I'm just gonna look at this log. Anyways, so you've got flash concentration. So right off the bat, looking at flash concentration, assuming you maintain the buff the entire time, what we should see is we should see, assuming zero, by the way, surge light procs, we should see like one flash shield every 20 seconds of the fight, right? So they've got the 730. Um, let's see. Uh, divided by 20, 22 cast of flash shield. So they've got double the number of flash shields that they should have. Uh, and these number of heals are just absolutely fucking pathetic. You have to imagine that these probably aren't even boosted by the legendary, like most of the time, right? I bet he's letting the, uh, the, the buff fall off like nonstop. Let's see. Cause he was, he was casting so many flash shields. So he's probably recasting it all the time. Okay, let's take a look, shall we? Um, the fuck? Am I blind? Is it? What is it called? Is it under? Is it like a different buff? It's flash concentration, right? I must be blind. I mean, he ran at this fight, didn't he? Okay, maybe he's just like not showing up properly. <clears throat> oh man, my man took Halo, dude. How much healing did that Halo do? Wow, he pushed the button eight times. Really taking advantage of that cooldown. <laughs> Dude, my renew is like 10% of my healing. He missed like 7% of his healing by not taking that talent. This is, this is so funny. This is just like, this is like. Alright, this is like a half meta baby, dude. Alright, well, I don't want to rip his logs up enough. This is like a okay player who doesn't even realize why wow, they're wrong and they've stated zero math in their argument like at all just because you can point out another healer's um their 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 base version of the spell without listing anything that has to do with the, their kit their stats their their talents their conduits their anything you have no 
idea how many things in this game go to buffing wild growth. The list is like 10 long. Now the list of things that buff um, Circle of Healing is very small. It gets crit scaling, it gets mastery scaling, it gets verse and intellect. Four things. There are no, there are literally no talents that buff it. There is literally no conduits that buff it. There are no legendaries that buff its actual healing done. That is the problem with COH. The issue with COH is, is that it's it's not that it's a bad base spell. It's that it has literally no support from anything else in the fucking game. So what you see is what you get. This is all Circle of Healing ever is and ever will be. <laughs> Whereas Wall Growth? Oh man, the list doesn't stop. First of all, this isn't the mana cost. The mana cost is like 5.4%. I believe, if that's good math. I don't know, 22 divided by 5. 4.4. Okay, so the mana cost is only like 30% more, okay? Um, wild growth scales with haste. So already, even if, um, let's take 98, let's say the only thing was just a little bit of haste. You know, rest of Jude's got like, you know, 15% haste, right? Boom, it's already at 112, right? Which puts it higher than your circle of healing. Already, already. And we're not going to talk about the fact that it buffs the rest of their healing for mastery. Okay, it has one of the strongest conduits in the game. It, I think the conduit says like it loses like half of its like loss of healing over time, which equates to something like a 17 or 20 percent buff to its overall healing. I it's been forever since I did the math. So they have a conduit that just buffs this spell by like 20, 30 percent, like when it's max rank. Um, okay, fucking ridiculous, right? They also have talents that buff this spell. Uh, the spell also receives the most ludicrous scaling for mastery, obviously. Um, Wild Growth just has so many more things going for it. It's 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 just by the time you get to the end of it, it's nuts. And this guy is technically arguing that Wild Growth should have been used on cooldown more. The funny thing is, the funny thing is, the the rest of Jude was right for telling him not to use Circle of Healing, but his reason for not using it was wrong. This guy is is right about the rest of Druid should be using wall growth, but his reasoning is wrong. <laughs> they actually just don't understand the argument, the numbers, or anything that goes into it. But yeah, essentially the rest of Druid should have been probably casting a lot more wall growth. If they're, the, if, they're, if they're taking like the wall growth conduits and whatnot and going that strategy. There's, there's multiple builds, by the way. <laughs> um, but I had thought that we were going to see ourselves... Um, a different holy priest but we have a flash concentration holy priest right so dog if you are flash concentration you cannot you just cannot be casting CH. it is so useless let me see your resources you better be fucking oom good so he's got a great arc see this is like this is what i think of as a meta baby right he has a lot of somewhat okay theory about how healing should be done it's better than most sadly um you know he's got some stuff of math kind of in his stuff his healing is generally decent right um and yet he can fall for the fact of that circle of healing is worth pressing despite having a legendary that buffs heal and then not keeping up his heal legendary's power i mean even these heal cast, which um, they're doing 9.1k, I mean, they're almost the healing of Circle of Healing, right? For significantly less mana. And Circle of Healing does nothing for you outside of when you just press it. Whereas heal, every heal is a fraction of a Holy Word Serenity. Not to mention, oh, it procs so many other things. It's also, if, in theory, a fraction of a Holy Word Salvation, right? And that's where the theory crafting gets really nuts, is that heal isn't just heal. Heal is like one sixth of a holy word serenity and like, you know, I don't know, one fiftieth of a s salvation or whatever, right? And all that gets packed into its value. Whereas COH is dead end, right? COH, uh, I'm not trolling you. COH has to get buffed by at least like 50% or 100% before I push the button. And I've been pushing the button on Prague, but that's only because we have so... Well, I was pushing on Prague. We're done now with the raid, and we have been for a while. But 
the only reason I was pushing it was because there was so little healing to do in the raid. The rest of my healers got so much gear that the healing requirements for the raid was so sad and so low that I could blatantly throw horrible amounts of mana using COH while running just to absolutely guarantee that people were topped like above 95% health. So I only use COH when people didn't need healing. <laughs> Just as a way to like really just overheal and guarantee no accidents could happen, you know, or or I would use it as an absolute emergency. Basically, I, I, I was never hitting COH because it was off cooldown. I would only hit COH because I was running and the targets I wanted to heal already had renew and my palm was on cooldown and there were no surge of light procs. If all of those criteria were met, like mana is fine. It's the type of fight where, uh, you know, super high raw HBS isn't required. If I'm on the move, if PH is on cool, I don't know if I already said that, all of those conditions are met, I will begrudgingly <laughs> hit the COH button. But you know what I would much rather do? I'd much rather not hit the COH button and not use a mana pot and instead use an intellect pot and never cast COH because that in turn will generate more raw HBS just by the numbers. I wish I could really break down, break this, get this individual and break down all of the math involved rather than just like this, this like sad excuse for, for math, right? There's so few things included here. Um, he just doesn't even understand all of the things that go into this. There's so many more things working in the back end. And, you know, actually, I don't, I feel bad for the player because in theory, it's not their fault, right? The game should be a lot more understanding. Um, but the current state of World of Warcraft is that you need people like me to do like fucking 20 hours of math just to figure out what a spec actually does. Um, when in reality, you should just be able to do what this guy's doing, right? So I can't even blame this individual. In theory, this individual's thought process is right. Although they're a snarky little bitch about it. I don't know what the, uh, who knows, maybe he was getting really pestered and this person who's arrested who is a person of, like, authority in the guild. I can only imagine, right? So, I don't know. But still, this the language used is just so cocky beyond belief. It can only be spoken by someone who is truly ignorant. Because <laughs> if, you, if you actually know a lot, you actually begin to doubt everything. Because there's so many things in World of Warcraft that WoW hides from you. And there's so many ways things work differently than what you would think. And there's so many modifiers and percents and exponential things. And it just, like the final end product, you just find yourself casting Teal. <laughs> and then topping the charts. And everybody just thinks like, you know, lol, easy class, right? I would love to be using all these other spells. But they're just dog shit. They don't produce numbers. So, like the true numbers that really get results done. I'm talking like the game changing numbers. CO and and here's the issue, right? COH doesn't do anything that the other healers don't already do better than Holy Priest. If we want to talk about like, you know, filling that niche or playing along with the other healers, which I never really think about, right? What is COH compared to Chain Heal? What is COH compared to Wall Growth? What is COH compared to uh Radiance? What is COH compared to Light of Dawn? Right? The list, the list goes on. I mean, COH is horrible. And, yeah. I mean, I think I think we knew this person was doomed right here. Um, and we knew they were, were really doomed right here. Right? Because they didn't go on to say uh, that, that they, didn't, they didn't even know that this isn't the true mana cost of wild growth. I mean, imagine thinking Wahlgrove's actual cost is 22% and writing a nine-page document and then it's just not occurring to you that if you were to push this button five times, you'd be oom. Um, so how could they possibly push it 30 times in the combat or 20 times, whatever that random... Yeah, how, how could they even manage 12 casts, right? If every five casts makes your mana pool go bye-bye, did they use two and a half mana pools on Wahlgrove thing? Like that, just that, just right there, that didn't, that didn't click. There wasn't like a little warning bell that went off in your head. That saw 22% and thought, wee woo, wee woo, hang on. Mana police, something ain't quite right here. Let me investigate. <laughs> just no, 22%. You looked it up on fucking icy veins. It says 22%. It's 22%. Why would they put 22% if it wasn't 22%? <laughs> 
I could ramble for hours, man. I, I just, I think this is like the funniest shit. I would actually love to do this shit all day, dude. I hope if anybody else has more manifestos, dude, send them my way. <clears throat> man, this shit is so funny to me. I mean, the healing community is one of the most snarky, vindictive, arrogant communities of all time. And I think most raiders don't even understand that. And the problem is, good healers get praised like they're God reincarnated. And, you know, once you hear that a few too many times, you start to believe it. So, I think this is a person who got a little too high off their own supply. <laughs> I would love to hear the rest of Druid's argument, and if they even realize why not casting CH is a good thing. This guy seems to imply that it, the rest of Druid's saying that sniping is hots. Um, so that that would be really interesting. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably true if the parses this guy linked are accurate, because if he's if the rest of Druid's getting single digit parses, then there probably isn't much going on up there. But who knows? Okay. Wow, almost an hour video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you laughed as much as me. Maybe I am in my own world of humor and none of this was funny. But to me, this shit had me in tears. Oh my god. I cannot get over this. This is so hilarious to me. Like, this this was a beautiful, just a beautiful, just, a, it was perfect length. Everything. It was so perfect. He's got sources and links. This is beautiful. Icy Veins Healing Guide. Oh, man. I I didn't even get a chance to... Wait, just, just, just a quick second. Just a quick second. I, didn't, I, gotta, I gotta know. <laughs> Alright, well, what... <laughs> what is healing? <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>